Natalie Drawn. Today I'm going to be walking you guys through my theme for my July bullet journal spread and I'm starting things off with a quote about nature and a little mountain scene. So my theme, if you haven't already guessed, is a mountain theme. I am taking a trip to Idaho for the first week of July and where I grew up there's lots of mountains, the Bitterroot Mountains which are part of the Rockies and so I thought I wanted to celebrate that with my July theme. So I picked mountains and stars so it's kind of an outdoorsy theme which I really like. So the quote that I picked to go on my title page is a very long one. It's by the Wild Woman Sisterhood. I found it on Pinterest and I was just really inspired by it. It reads, the mountains are my bones, the rivers my veins, the forests are my thoughts, and the stars are my dreams. The ocean is my heart, its pounding is my pulse. The sounds of the earth write the music of my soul. And I just really like that. It's you know, it's poetic and um, it just, it really resonates with me. And I thought it went perfectly with this mountain theme that I'm doing. So I did the mountains with the Sakura fine liners, uh, Pigma Micron fine liners, and it's just a line style and I filled it in with the Tombow Dual Brush Pens. I'm actually using the Tombow Dual Brush Pen Landscape Palette. Um, not the whole palette, but a lot of the colors that you'll see me use are from that palette. So if you have that one, um, then you'll be able to color match super easy if you decide to recreate this in your bullet journal. I also am using a Tombow Fudenosuke uh, hard tip to create the tree silhouettes that are in front of the mountains. But uh, in order for me to complete them correctly, I had to stop and do the sky. <laughs> So that's why I only did part of the trees and you'll see me go back and finish them later. Uh, this color that I'm using is my favorite Tombow color. It's number 528 and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous blue color. taking a gold jelly roller and I'm using that to do one of the constellations and write the word July in folligraphy. Folligraphy is really easy. You just write in cursive and then you go thicken up the strokes that go downwards as you're writing. And it looks really cool and with this gold jelly roller it's awesome. So then I'm just going over the quote with the Micron Fineliner to make it look more permanent. going to be creating the calendar spread so this will be the monthly calendar log for my July mountain theme 
The boxes for my monthly calendar are five wide and six down. That's my favorite ratio for calendar spreads. So I use that again here. Um, and then I roll out the spacing with a pencil, but I'm actually creating the calendar with the fine liner just so that I don't have to do so much erasing. Um, erasing tends to wrinkle my pages. I get do it really vigorously. So the less I have to erase, the easier that can be. Don't mind my big head. I spin it around a lot. To make those lines because I'm not using a ruler. I like that handmade look. If you want to use a ruler, by all means, go for it. I just, it feels to me like it takes a lot of work to use a ruler and I would just rather do it by hand. trackers for both Instagram and for YouTube. Uh, usually these boxes are the same size but I for whatever reason drew my calendar over one and so it threw off my ratio for the boxes for the growth trackers. It's not a big deal it's just something that if I had it to do over again I would fix. <laughs> This other module that's underneath my growth trackers is my spot for next month's events. I know there's a future log at the beginning, but this just puts it all on the same page for July. It makes it really easy for me to see what's coming up. So I like to have that on my calendar page as well. And then of course I'm adding just another little simple mountain doodle to my calendar page. a really simple spread. This is my brainstorm page so that I can just jot down different ideas that I have for different things. Um, and then on the other side, I will put my habit trackers and my grateful spread. So for my habit trackers, um, I have been including four habit trackers, but I was really not using one of them. The streaming. I used to be into streaming on Twitch and on Instagram and I wanted to track how often I did that but I have slowed down on my streaming. I like I never do it anymore because I've been making these YouTube videos and so streaming's kind of fallen by the wayside. So I chose not to include that particular 
habit tracker this month. So instead I just did three, posting on Instagram, posting to YouTube, and the days that I end up working out. I went back and I numbered these shapes um, with the days of the month afterwards. Uh, I just, my hand was tired, and so I didn't include footage of me putting the numbers in there, but I did. Uh, you don't have to, it's personal preference. I just like it, helps me visually keep track of things easier. This spread is one that I started including so that I could keep track of money in and money out. I only put three bills up there, the bills that are my responsibility, my car payment, my student loans, and my credit card. Um, I mean, I also have like rent and utilities and stuff like that, but uh, my husband and I work together to keep track of those. So those are mine. I just have to make sure that I pay them. So I keep track of that there and then I can look back on what day and how much I paid. Um, the income tracker I use for my artwork so I can keep track of the different projects that I do and the money that I make off of those projects. On the page opposite of my bills and income tracker, I just decided to do another quote page. You could put whatever you want on this spread, but a quote to me felt right. And so I did another mountain doodle with a mountain inspired John Muir quote and um, silhouetted trees at the bottom. And I think it turned out pretty, although I had some spacing, spacing issues with my quote. Um, and you'll see when I write the quote what happened and <laughs> so I go back and fix it later and uh you know it's not perfect but it's not bad so I'm happy with how it came out.
So here's me trying to fix that spacing issue. Um, I put white out over top of the word that I didn't like the spacing of and I tried to rewrite it but the Tombow dual brush pens don't write the same over the white out as they do on paper. So to combat that I wrote with the black Tombow Fudenosuke uh, hard tip to kind of disguise the way that it, the Tombow dual brush pen wrote on the white out and I really like how that turned out. Moving right along, this is the weekly spread for my first week of July. I kept this spread really simple and I did not put a lot of bits and baubles on this page. It is really, really empty. And I left it that way because I'm going to be on vacation and I'm not going to use the bullet journal for that week the same way that I normally would. Um, I did write out a space for all seven days of the week and those spaces are seven wide and 18 down. And then on the side over here, I'm putting my schedule. I just started putting a schedule in my weekly spreads and um, it's helped me keep track of my time and be more productive. So even though I was going on vacation, I included it here anyway. And then I have one more little module that I did with those like parentheses lines on the top and bottom of the box. And that's where I'm putting the travel information. If this were a typical week, that module would be for my next week's events, just so that I have a quick place to jot those down. Um, but for now, that space is going to hold some flight information for our flight home on Saturday. Um, I'm just using the fine liners to go over my pencil lines. And then I have some of those dual tip brush pens that I'll color in some of the stuff for accents so it's not quite so boring. But this page is a very, very simple spread. So um, you can mix up weekly spreads and put whatever you need on them. Usually I include a meal planner. I didn't because we're going to be gone. And so I figured we'll be eating out or at my parents' house or, you know, wherever. Um, so to me, that wasn't as important to include in this week. But I did keep the days and the schedule. spread is putting a little green line seven spaces up from the bottom and that's just where I'm going to keep my Instagram challenge prompts so now we'll do the little flip through and you can see the design with all the quote pages 
And that's everything for my July bullet journal spread. Um, if you guys want to recreate this, please tag me so I can see the things that you do at Natalie Drawn on Instagram. I would love to see the things that you create if your spread is inspired by mine or even if it's different. I love seeing new things that everyone creates. So I'm thankful that you guys came along on this journey with me to see what spread I created or what theme I created for my July spread. Thank you so much and I will see you guys in the next video.